Oh my god. I'm absolutely dreading taking a shower, but like I have to because I haven't taken one since I haven't taken one since Sunday. It's Saturday now. I haven't taken a shower for almost a week. Because I dread it every single day because there's no water pressure. Like literally you don't get wet. It doesn't get warm. I hate it. I hate it, but I have to. Do do that first or do skincare first? Like brush my teeth. I'm gonna brush my teeth first. Just postponing actually taking that shower. One thing about me, I will be giving you the best angles. You can count on that. That's way too much. those moments on TikTok vlogs, so I'm doing them on here. A few days ago, I saw someone online say that you have to use your knuckles with your face wash. I don't know what that does, but I've been trying it ever since. Like, this is the third that I'm, that I'm on this trial. Um, I don't know what it does. It feels different, obviously, but like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Should be fine. Like something I really wish I was is a skincare girl, but like this is a literally all I do. Because I don't have the time, well I do have the time, but I don't have the energy. I'm way too lazy to figure everything out, like what works for my skin, what I need to put on. And then all the products, like buy all the products, like everybody that I see online uses at least 10 products in the morning and then they use 10 different products at night. Like, what do you want me to do here? I'm not gonna buy all of that. I do want good skin though. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's like definitely not great. It's just intense to me, like, how much skincare you need for it to, like, work. They've been going in so easy lately, like, usually I struggle with at least one of my contacts. But sometimes, like, I have to take them out, like, take them out and put them back in, and I, that takes me, like, five tries. Really? Every day has been good. Like, every day they've just gone in, and they haven't bothered me. Um, so for that shower now. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be, but I still don't like it. Like, it still isn't nice. And I'm also still dreading washing my hair, so I have to do it again tomorrow. Because that's also been a week. But I mean, like, these hair styles work fine for me, so we can definitely make that work. I don't know. Let's get ready. This is my little makeup set up here, because this is where my mirror is. It's the only mirror I have. It's kind of nice because the window is right there, so I do have the good lighting that's great i do like like the asmr style get ready with me's starting with this bare mineralized foundation it's the only foundation i've ever used i forgot my makeup sponge okay now i do have everything i'm starting with the bare mineralized foundation that i literally use always i never use anything else it's the one what is the the liquid mineral foundation barely use any coverage but i like the shade it gives like i it's exactly the right shade for me i like the coverage that it does give because i'm really not like that much of a full coverage girl proceeds to put two pumps on like it really isn't that thick i don't feel it on my face and that is exactly what i want with foundation i don't want to feel it just marinating would add concealer but i'm too lazy to buy it then going in with a clinique red lipstick as my blush so i ran out of my blush ones and then i started using this and i don't want to go back now because it's just the, the best shade ever like it's just the right shade for me i love it it does stir my entire face pink but then i add bronzer on top anyway so i don't really care and if i blend it out well enough it's also not that pink anyway and the bronzer, which I don't know what it is with my powders, but they always break. Just go in with this like big ass brush and I just brush it all over my face. I really don't contour, like I do basically the contour lines, but that's it. Like I don't go into it. I wish it was more of a makeup girl. I'm just not, I'm really just not. And the highlighter really doesn't have any product left in it, but I'm still using it because it's like It still works well enough. And then brows. 
which I also literally only do this for. I don't fill them in. I just do the gel like that. And then literally the only thing I'm doing now is mascara with my favorite sound ever. Wait, wait, wait. I love it. This one also says that it's a brown mascara. I've never seen it actually be brown, but I do really like the way that it makes my lashes look. That's it. That's the look. I mean, like it looks any different any other day of my life, but um, that's it. I'm gonna do my hair. And then there is a fashion conference going on right now. It's the last day, so I'm going there. And the first panel is at 10 a.m. I don't know what time it is right now. I think like nine, maybe a little bit earlier. I already know what I'm gonna wear. Because it's still warm, it's not- Yesterday it was hot, yesterday it was like 28 degrees Today it's like 24 maybe So I'm wearing these linen pants And then my linen shirt That's it, everybody knows this Like I'm obsessed with this outfit Um, it's also one of the only things I have here Because I brought three things I do want to go to one store Because there's one mug that I want Like I don't really love fall Or like care for it Or care for Halloween But they do have this very cute like spooky um, ghost mug and i kind of want it really bad so i'm gonna get that probably and then i also need to go to the store to get some food and i need new milk for my coffee too but i'm gonna go to that panel first um i'll see you when my outfit is on <laughs> that took so much longer than i expected it to take because i wanted to do a cute pinterest hairstyle and then it took me like 15 minutes to find something and then it took me i think also at least 15 minutes to do it i do really like how it turned out it's like the viral like twisted great ponytails but i'm running late now that took me like 40 minutes to do, to do i basically have 20 minutes to get there i hope there's space this is this is like the main talk of today so i really want to go there plus the speaker is dutch so like that makes me want to go more but i kind of want to take notes because i got so bored yesterday and the day before like just listening to these people talk and it was like three and four hours so ba basically like i did that I also have that when I do take notes, but like I want to have something to do with my hands instead of just sit there. But yeah, let's go. Made it. I mean, I don't think it's even open yet. If from new materialism we've learned that the non-human world, animals, objects, address, genes are rich, complex, we need to take objects, things, materials, not only seriously, but we have to come to love and cherish them. Take care of them. Be responsible for them. I'm skipping one of these panels for a little shopping trip and breakfast because I can I cannot do four in a row. I can't. If there's one more creepy ass guy, like weird ass guy that comes up to me, I'm truly gonna hit someone. What the fuck? Like I'm getting actual anger issues from this. It's so annoying. It was definitely on me because I didn't even have the mug. Like they only had Christmas ones left. I'll show you how I make my coffee at home. I mean it's not good, but it's also not gross. It's like it's not disgusting. Like it's instant coffee, I really don't like it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I just eyeball this. I think this was quite a lot longer. And then make it taste a little bit better. I do add a little bit of sugar. That's a lot. And because I don't want to burn it, because that makes it even worse, I go in with this first, like cold water first. And then because the kettle is literally the grossest thing I have ever seen, I use this little pan to cook my water or to boil my water. Um, it usually goes wrong when I pour it in, so let's hope for the best. Yeah, okay. Not too bad, not too great, like a bit spilled. And then I just go in with milk. What a recipe, I know. This is what I had to buy at the store, by the way. It surprises me that they have so many options in store, actually, plant-based milks. And I just really fill it until the brim. A taste test. Honestly, not that bad today. But it's not coffee. In my not new mug. Yeah, now I'm making breakfast. We actually have to hurry for the next panel. I don't know what time it is. The fuck is my phone? It's... Oh, it's... Fuck. It's literally 12 right now, and I think the next panel is at 12.15. 12.10. Shit. I mean, they're fine if you just walk in, so... I will do that, but I'm gonna hurry anyway. Once again, I am running very late, but also, what else is new? Welcome to my life. Uh... Ethnically and culturally positioned barristers are closing right now. 
Um, a three-piece suit was not a neutral or standard garment without ideology. Literally, I have two things to say. I like these events, but why am I too socially awkward to actually network with these people and socialize with these people? Like, I hate this fight myself. Like, I just run away. And they're like a lost dog trying to find its mom. And then also, like, I like what they say, but then I'm gonna get into this later. But then, like, it's always the same. I realize, like, it's literally always the same. Okay, so what I was saying, two things. Let's dive into my issue first, which is I'm just too socially awkward to socialize and to network. I don't know what it is. There's such like a mental barrier that I have to cross in order to just walk up to someone and say, hey, and then whatever. But like with all of these people, like I would want to talk to them. But since I'm the student and they're the, like the, the, the hosts and the speakers and stuff even if there are other students like two things again with this like if they're the speakers i need to be the one that goes up to them because they have given their talk they have done the panel you know they don't know me i'm just standing there like i'm not interesting for them so i would have to go to them i don't know what to say i have no idea like i'm not that interested in academia so like i'm sorry your talk was very interesting but that's honestly it to me and then with other students i feel like a lot of them already know each other or they're in groups and then i have to like to be the one to just walk up to that group and then say hey whatever like hey i know you're in my class or hey whatever like that is so like it feels so like that's scary to me because it feels like so intrusive to me to just walk up to a group that's already talking it's just oh i hate it even though i've been saying like fuck it let's go over so many things when it's in this kind of social setting shut up like nobody cares i know that but then i also don't know that i don't feel that it's i don't know i'm too awkward so i hope <laughs> I don't know at least i made new friends in another way because i had dinner with them yesterday and that was really fun so i like i have two people that already told me they want to hang out again so this is nice but i like i would have liked to know or get to know some people within my field within my master's degree um i guess i'm too awkward for that and then the other thing i wanted to say is like i've done three days at this conference right very interesting but then you have a topic and this was fashion and 3D, which was like decolonization, deconstructing, and decentering. I think that's what it stands. Yeah, that's what it stands for. So you have the main theme, you have the main idea. I feel how many talks did I go to? Like eight. And while they're all like different in a way, it's basically all the same to be expected from a conference with an overarching theme, of course. But then also this morning I went to the the keynote speaker and she was talking about Lacan and mindfulness and like approaching fashion studies with a post-human perspective or the buddhist framework through a post-human lens right while in fashion studies that might be a new thing literally every single theorist and every single theory and every single field of study talks about the exact same fucking thing so this i've heard a million times already throughout my bachelor's degree of english literature because like people don't shut up about these things and if you're a theorist if you're a scholar of course you're gonna like you have a specific framework that you work through or you work with but then it's again like how does it not get boring repeating the same thing over and over again maybe in a different field of study but you don't make a new point you just use other people's points to talk about something that you're interested in and they present it like it's something new it's not it's not because it's like everybody talks about the same thing it might be new in this field of study it's not a new thing so i've heard this thing a million times and yeah it was interesting to 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 listen to it from a from a fashion perspective but i've heard this about literature a million times obviously i had a great time i guess that's why i thought it was kind of boring honestly because like it's just the same thing within the conference but it's also the same thing within just literally academia humanities academia it's just philosophize it like well, how do you even pronounce that like talking and philosophizing about the same things over and over again and there's literally nothing new ever Okay, I'm gonna go outside one more time because I want to get more steps in today and also well also I need to go to the store because I don't have enough food to make dinner. Um and I just wanna be outside for a while because the weather's nice enough. Like I thrive in summer weather and having that here is honestly 
like the best thing that I've had in the past two weeks. So I wanna take it all in. I wanna experience all of it. So I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit. I don't have a goal except for actually going to the store in a little bit. Okay, I do have to show this. Because this is like the cutest area in this town. Like just with all the cute and colorful houses and then they all, or not all of them, but they have these paintings on them. A new friend showed me this yesterday. There's another one, like, and this is where like the fishermen live, slash used to live. So that's like this area. So cute. I don't understand why it's, well, I do. <laughs> I was gonna say like, I don't understand why it's dark so early. And then I remembered that it's late October. Of course it's gonna be dark early. And why am I so dumb sometimes? I made my food, it's literally overflowing. I'm like forcing myself to make a lot of dinner because I, I'm so weird with the food like during the day with breakfast and lunch like it's weird I don't eat enough. I know that I have like dinners that make up for it And then I have like a big dessert as well, but I'm so excited to be eating rice It's just like it's not even a stir-fry It's literally just rice with things in it and on soy sauce But I'm so excited and I'm gonna enjoy this and watch Gossip Girl and that was my day I like spending it vlogging talking to a camera. So I will probably do it again tomorrow. Maybe I'll go on a day trip. Who knows? Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.